A really great way to download files from file share websites or with JDownloader. When you can't afford to run your desktop machine or laptop computer all day and night. The best option is to use a Raspberry Pi instead of your primary computer. When setting up a JDownloader server, you should run the Pi OS on the largest storage capacity. Unless you have an external storage available. This way you can relax while your server downloads while you sleep. You can monitor download progress for free. To manage your JDownloader server, download the browser extension, currently it is available for Chrome, Opera and Firefox. Any other methods require paid service. The easiest method to create Raspbian OS is download the Imager software. When running the Imager software, either download the Raspbian image or follow the wizard to have the Imager software download the OS. I chose Raspbian Lite because this server don't need to be plugged to a monitor, we can manage it remotely from any device. When this process is done, don't remove the SD card yet. We need to enable SSH to work on the Raspberry Pi from our computer. Create a new text document at the root of the SD card, then name it SSH without extension. Now you can eject the card and insert it onto the Raspberry Pi. We need to find out what is the Pi IP address. Either log into your router or plug the Pi to a monitor. Now we try to connect to the Pi from command prompt. Please follow the on-screen instruction. This is part of Raspbian security. Enter this next line, then re-log in. SSH is enable, enter yes to login. Now we need to create two folders in the Pi directory. Then go to J Downloader folder. We want to store J Downloader server in this folder. This Java installation will work with Pi 3 Model B Plus and probably Pi 4. I have no luck installing any Java on the Pi 2 model. Now we install J Downloader. After the installation is done, run the installation again to log in. Log in to your J Downloader here. Your information is update, you have to end the task by holding control, then press C on the keyboard. We need to set up a service, telling the Pi to auto start J Downloader server. For installation details, please check the video description. 
This script will auto launch the J downloader server every time the Pi boot up. Enter sudo reboot to reboot the Pi, wait a few seconds and you can log into the JDownloader server from your phone or web browser. And here it is, I hope you enjoy this project, this server may not be for everyone, but I love it, please share to someone who might find it useful. This is the end of the first part of the tutorial. In the second video, I will show you how to enable Samba. So you can move the files from Raspberry Pi to your PC through local network.